Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline. A moment and we will begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so a moment of reflection on the day now coming to its close. And as we reflect on the things that have gone wrong, the things for which we are sorry, we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 <laughs> Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. But the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty lamb. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to the end of the chapter. Jesus said, Come to me. <clears throat> all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, 
and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. <clears throat> Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. The light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Lord, as darkness falls and day draws near to its close, we give you thanks for all this day has contained, for the blessings, the opportunities, the challenges and the joys. Having come and laid all that is wrong in us at the foot of the cross, we gather up those names, those places, those things that burden us now. And we lift to you, Father God, the people on our hearts and minds, the places that trouble us this day and the things that weigh heavily upon us. And let us lift to the Lord those things, laying them at the foot of the cross and trusting them, those, everything and us into the arms of God this night. Father, we thank you for our families and friends. We thank you for those who make us smile. And Lord, we bless those who don't. And Father, I thank you that today I've met people that I haven't seen for so long. For bumping into Barbara in Wilnicott, for bumping into Derek Pritchard in B&Q. Father, for people who we love and see no longer, those who have departed this life and those who are just in a different place to us. We lay them before you tonight, thanking you for their memories and for the fellowship we have had. We pray for Josh and his ankle, that the surgeon may move things, get things right in his body. We pray for Molly's sister and for the birth of her niece, and for the sister's care and recovery from that birth. Father God, we, we thank you for all the things, all the people, all the places, 
that maybe unwittingly respond to your touch and know your peace and healing. And as we pray for others, we pray for ourselves that you, almighty Lord and everlasting God, might, we pray, direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and in the works of your commandments. That through your most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour gave us the words, we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And Lord, come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. We pray for Andrew and for the communion tomorrow, St. Edith, of course. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us this night. Be assured of our prayers and all, all that we have, all that we are, as family, as the body of Christ, as the bride of Christ. Sleep well, guys. Be blessed. In June, when we bump into each other, we're bumping into each other. Don't worry. Bless you guys. <laughs>